Hello miners, Rusty coming at you. I just wanted to do a quick video for you, get you caught up. Um, I shot a lot of my videos ahead of time. I'm shooting this one hopefully the night before. As you can see, I got into traditional knives. And this is just a, about half of what I collected. I got pretty serious uh, June, July, and August. And mostly Rough Riders. And we got a lot of trappers. I know you guys might not be into trappers. Uh, but some of these are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so as we go down the road, you know, I hope you guys uh, kind of stick with me. As I check some of these out, uh, videos will be down the, down the road. And I got more than just Rough Riders uh, in the batch here. Uh, so, but these, unfortunately, are almost all trappers with the exception of a canoe. Uh, maybe a stockman, got a couple stockmans. And then we'll go over here where I kind of did some patterns, uh, series collections. I got uh, tater skin, uh, this is, these are cool. Uh, let me set up my camera for just a second. Don't want this to be a long video. Okay, hopefully that's a pretty nice uh, set up shot at the at these but this is the Rough Rider Stockman and it's called the Hammerforge series uh, so this is a Stockman with carbon steel you can still get this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works I believe somewhere in the $15 range uh, so I kind of enjoyed that and I will have, and I do have videos um, ready. I will release them, even though they're gonna be further down the line. And then we have um, a stroke of luck. These are harder to find. And it's just kind of cool uh, here. And, but you guys can get these carbon classics and uh, one with a worn cliff blade so if you don't like your trappers uh, well you still get the darn spade blade even with that worn cliff so anyways you can get some of those uh, I recommend this cinnamon bone steak pattern these are really nice also come with a carbon steel and you guys will learn they usually do stainless steel, which is 440, and or uh, carbon steel, which is somewhere close to you know 1095. Uh, in Rough Riders' case, it's uh, T10. So uh, this is called an amber color, and the new amber colors on the Rough Riders are quite quite the deal. Uh, of course, I went and I got, you know, I got another 10 or 12 that I'm really happy with. Um, this is a USA made queen. You can still get this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, 1065, I want to say, for the steel. So I will do, I have a review coming on that again down the road. Uh, and it's a closer to a $60, $70 knife. Let's see. I think $57. $58. Uh, what else? You guys can always get Rough Riders uh, Reserves. So. Those are some nice knives if you're into slip joints. Again, I'll talk about where to get a really soft leather sheath. I got it off at Etsy at Owl Works. And uh, you can custom order them. I got this sheath, believe it or not. I ordered it from Tangley. It's one of his. For the six leaf, it says like Fitz SL014 or something. And then I have a little secret knife in here. It's not little. It's a big boy and uh, video will come out on that down the road 
So, anyways, I got that in there the way I wanted it. Yeah, it seems about right. Okay, guys, that's all. I just wanted to kind of catch up with you, let you know. I did kind of change. I do have modern knives uh, coming out, some videos. I have about a half a dozen of those coming, but when that's compared to, you know, 100 uh, traditionals, I'm going to be showing these off. I hope you guys enjoy them. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.